We've usually got so many children here that we can hardly move for them. I have a nephew who lives right away up the top of the North Island, just not that far from Cape Reinga, right at the top there. And he has a beef farm. He has lots and lots of cows, but they're beef cattle. And he has two boys. The oldest boy is called Ethan, and he's about 13 and a half. And the younger boy is 11. They're big boys, and they're used to doing a lot of work on the farm. They, they work with the tractors, they work with the digger. Amazing. When I saw them doing this, I thought, man, how can these boys do such a good job? But they love working on the farm and they love working for their father. Well, one day their father, Bryce, said to Ethan and to Kirk, you take the farm bikes and you go right away out to the end of the farm and check on the cattle out the back because only a day or two before they'd gone out there and the new bull that they had bought, he just collapsed and died. They found him dead in the paddock. And that was not a very good thing, so they were checking on this every day just to make sure that the cattle out there were okay. Well, they went out, they got out on the farm bikes, and they're not little bikes, they're big bikes, and they went right away out. Yes, everything was okay, and on the way back, Kirk, the younger one, he's riding his granddad's bike, which was a big bike, and his grandma had said to him, now you just look after that bike, it used to be granddad's because granddad had died, and you just take care of it and don't do stupid things with it. Well, of course, Kurt forgot all about this, and he decided that he wanted to race his brother, because was, um, Ethan was in front, you see. So it's quite a way out to the back of the farm and on the way back, they weren't that far from the house, but on the way back, Kurt thought, oh, I'm going to race Ethan, I'm just going to beat him. I've got the bigger bike, I'm going to beat him. So he took off at speed, but as he took off, lo and behold, his bike caught the edge of the, the hillside. See the tracks there and the hillside straight up there? And so he fell off. Fortunately, the bike didn't fall on top of him because if it had fallen on top of him, it would have been a very, very nasty accident. However, when he fell off, his arm got caught in the gear lever and it ripped his arm. Well, nobody knew just what had happened for starters, but when he got back to the house, he said to his dad, oh, I think there's something the matter with my arm. So they, they had a job to find because he had a thick leather jacket on and so they had to cut the jacket to see what the trouble was underneath. Well, when they got there and had it exposed, here was Kirk's arm and the skin was all hanging down and there was blood everywhere. And because his mother, she nearly went berserk because she, she's not used to seeing things like that. And she, was, she just went silly for a little bit. And so, and I'm sure there might be some mothers who might do the same thing here, I'm not sure. But anyway, they had to take him into Kaitaia Hospital, and that's a journey of an hour, because it's, it's quite a, a way. And then they had to put injections in to dull the pain, so th and they put in 23 stitches. So that was not nice. Now, what was the problem? What, was he, what did he do that was wrong? Can you remember? No, he didn't drive up the bank on purpose. What was it? Do you remember? Well, he did disobey his grandma because she had said, you, you be careful with that bike and you respect it. But the main thing was that he wanted to beat Ethan. And so he put on the speed and that's when things went wrong. His, his, his worst thing was that he wanted to boast, that he wanted to be a little bit like 
well, he wanted to beat his brother, who's bigger than he is. Not a lot, but you see that spirit of competition. And there was somebody else who did something that wasn't right either. Or he boasted a little bit. And that was Peter. Remember, Peter was, was in the, um, the boat and when, when the storm had come and Jesus wasn't with them this time, but they saw Jesus and they said, oh, it's a ghost. And so Peter said to the Lord, because they saw that it was Jesus, bid me come on the water. And so Peter got out of the boat, didn't he? And away he went and everything was okay while what? Ah, right, indeed. That's right. He was, while he had his eye on Jesus, he was okay. So that's something for us to remember. I've got another little story too, but I think maybe I better not do it today. Okay, back to your seats, thank you. I usually get into trouble because I do too many things or too long or talk too much. <laughs> right, let's sing again, There is a Redeemer. So, my helpers, please. And there are three verses to this. Well, actually, my husband said to me, I don't mind how long you make whatever because it would be less time for him to talk. <laughs> 